All right, y'all, welcome back to the Commodore Arms channel. Okay, so today we're checking out a big request that I was getting from a lot of y'all, and this is from the Finnish Defense Forces YouTube channel. This is titled Aim and Approach, and looking at the description, it's the Finnish Navy training with the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Marine Corps. So I imagine this is in line with the Vigilant Fox. It's kind of fell under the Vigilant Fox exercise. I'm not exactly too sure, but it sounds like a good time with the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Marine Corps, and the Finnish Navy going together. I'm hoping we see some amphibious assaults with the, the Jehu class sort of landing craft. Because those things are freaking badass. They look a lot cooler than our AAVs. I got to say that. And I'm sure the U.S. Marines definitely appreciate going on those as opposed to the AAVs. That's all I can say. So, yeah, should be good. It's only three and a half minutes long. But I'm excited because I saw, like, in the first five seconds, it was an Osprey. So, yeah, I'm definitely more inclined to want to check this one out. So, let's do it. Okay, starting off nice and quiet. <laughs> nice. Man, that Osprey rotor downwash is insane. Let's go. Knocks you off your feet. Okay, nice pan right there. Wait, I wonder if... Uh, then they got the CH-53s, okay. Are those... Nah, I'm kind of thinking those were some of the newer ones, but maybe not. So, yeah, I was kind of hoping some of the U.S. Marines would be going on the NH-90s, but I guess not. But I gotta say, that's Chinook... Okay, it's a U.S. Army one. Okay, that one's looking pretty pristine as well. So we do know the U.S. Army was training there as well. But let's see, let's see more of the Marine stuff, guys. Oh, they got the little bird just chilling in the back. Okay. What is going on? Damn. All right, so the fins are in theirs. Oh, that's so cool. They can bring it inside the ship, too. Damn, that's sick. Uh, do a seals halt. See Wait, what the heck? This might be a stupid question, but does the NH-90, do the wheels, like, go into the frame? Because maybe we just can't see them from this angle, because I've never, I've never seen a helicopter where the wheels do that from the top of my memory. I don't know, maybe, unless this is just like a water helicopter, like a seaplane, but a helicopter version, I don't think so, but. Uh, do a seals halt, see what you can hear or see. If you can set in an ambush, that would be awesome. But if not, if you see him and make contact, the mission is to just harass. That didn't sound like very good order, if I'm being honest. <laughs> do some seals, which basically stop, look, listen, smell. And then, yeah, if you can engage, just harass them. From there, it's on you. <laughs> Sick, dude. Okay, they're going over hand and arm signals, I guess. I like how the Marines don't have the plate carriers on, but the poor Finns do. <laughs> All right, he's got it. He's good. I never really understood the, the the grip bipod. I don't know. It just seemed like really big and bulky, and I never really utilized the bipod function. I rocked that for a very short time before I realized it was kind of gimmicky. I don't know, but it's it's kind of interesting to see Marines are still using that thing, especially when they have the nice M27s and the nice new optics and stuff. They're still sticking with that that bipod grip. Nice. If that was a steel bar coming out, yeah. we don't necessarily want to pressure that down. Hmm. Okay. So first aid training is always legit. When you can incorporate that into, into like some training, especially some legit stuff where they have like the prosthetics or whatever. That's freaking awesome. Especially calling in like a nine line. Dude, a lot of people can't really perfect that. And I wouldn't even say perfect it. A lot of people can't get that right. What was that? <laughs> What's going on here? Okay. Oh, I want to see what that was. Was that... Is this like the Finnish version of a Bangalore? It's, I mean, it looks pretty pretty cool, I guess. But yeah, so the Bangalore basically goes 
I think underneath the wire and then it blows and kind of opens up a, a way for the infantryman to get through a certain obstacle. So it looks like that's kind of what we're seeing here. Interesting setup. I like how they went without their weapons. I, I don't think I've seen that before. I mean, it kind of, okay, well, never mind. Maybe they just literally don't have weapons because he's holding security with a ghost gun here. <laughs> okay. All right, engineers. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to go up to an obstacle with no weapon, personally. Dude, these shots are sick. I'm sure the Marines love this training. It looks... Ah, there you go. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Fire. Nice. Good violence of action. Okay. Dude. This was a freaking sweet video. I almost want to watch it like... Again, we... Okay, we have to replay certain parts of this. Just this end part, okay? It was happening super quick. All right, so they're locking down the breach. I guess we're probably gonna mark it at, at some point. And then the US Marines, we saw they were actually able to do the assault from the, yeah, from their ship. Nice. It sucks to have the big rush though. Good stuff. Okay. Whoa, okay. I didn't see that dude before. <laughs> yes, I mean, the geometries are okay enough, but this guy is probably like, oh, yeah, he's like, uh, let me back up a little bit. And then and ending the video off like this is always a good touch. Dude, that was sick. The music was sick. The clips were sick. Again, the Marines were freaking lucky doing this freaking awesome training. This is a lot cooler than anything I can remember doing as far as like a single training exercise. And trust me when I say, I am not salty about that at all. I love seeing these Marines getting some solid training in, especially with the nice gear. Like, man, that's freaking awesome. They have the nice high cut helmets. They have like the electronic cure and protection. They have the nice M27s with the new, I think it's a Trijicon VCOG or maybe it's a, a SIG Tango optic. But yeah, seeing those new optics and the new weapons and the new gear is freaking awesome. Again, I think this was the Mew that was actually taking part in this exercise specifically because I know the USS Kearsarge was, was out there. So I imagine it was the Marine Expeditionary Unit, which makes a lot of sense. I wonder if they get like kind of better equipment just being a part of the Mew. Because here in the Army, when you are going on deployment, like when our unit was supposed to be pushing out to Iraq, I think a couple months before that, we got like a new gear issue where we had some of the more like the nicer stuff it still wasn't that nice but it was nicer at least so i'm kind of wondering if the marine expeditionary unit gets that as well before they actually go on the mu because they kind of have i think they have a different sort of pool of, of money to sort of fund that because they get to go to some pretty cool training before they actually go and push out on that deployment but yeah it looked freaking awesome it looked a lot cooler than what we saw with the u.s army and the the fins and the bridge training because again you're bringing in that sort of amphibious elements but at the same time we saw a little bit more helicopter play we kind of saw that with the army as well like we saw the chinook in this but with the ospreys going in and then the nh90s we saw that early on but that combined with the amphibious assault stuff i don't know if it was at the same time but that looks pretty freaking fun i gotta say and then of course we saw some more traditional infantry things like you know getting the breachers up defeating the obstacle and then pushing from there and also again adding that medical training in you guys already know adding that medical training in is like amazing i loved when we were able to actually incorporate that into our training because again getting the repetitions especially with calling up a nine line like a medevac that is very, very important because you don't want to be calling up a nine line for the first time when it actually counts. So yeah, that was a big thing, a big proponent, uh, at least in my units, is making sure that people know the nine line. But again, it is nice to get those repetitions in. I'm wondering what the Finns thought about this. I mean, it was nice that they weren't really using too much of the Marine Corps equipment from what I've, from what I've seen besides like them actually, you know, just docking in the, in the ship or what have you. But yeah, it's it's pretty freaking sweet. And I imagine everybody involved had a lot of fun. So of course, if you guys took part, let me know how it was down in the comment section. Because yeah, again, these guys are just lucky getting a nice 
free trip to Finland and then just doing this freaking awesome training. So I imagine when these guys look back on their Marine Corps careers or even their military careers, they're definitely going to see this as a highlight, especially just going to Finland and going to Finland during the summer. It's pretty freaking sweet. But thank you guys for recommending this video. This was a very, very solid one. Again, Finnish Defense Forces Combat Camera is definitely doing something right. And I, th I think they've been upping their quality a little bit. The quality's always been good, but honestly, this was just like edited really well because I was pretty much hyped and hooked throughout the entire video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Thank you again for recommending it. I am subscribed to the Finnish Defense Forces YouTube channel, but sometimes I don't get all of the, the new releases. So I do appreciate you guys being on top of your game and sending it my way. But it was, it was very fun to check out. And I'm sure you guys had a blast checking that out as well with me. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you guys liked the video, hit that thumbs up, all of that good stuff. And of course, definitely consider subscribing. But that is it for this video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you.